one of my favorite things about the Library of Celsus is the detail that went into the, the architecture. So the columns at the front of the library are there to give perspective. And the way that they do that is the columns in the center are actually wider, larger than the ones on the outside. And that's to make it look as if there's more depth to the library. So really interesting detail and a flair for the magnificent from the, the architect as well, which I love. So in the reconstruction of this city, they've deployed techniques that are far more modern. So how they do it now is that they've drilled down through that column, put a piece of rebar, a, a piece of metal through the center and filled it with concrete. That way it can withstand a tremor or a mild earthquake, which was what brought this city down. Obviously in the Roman construction era, they didn't have the ability to drill all the way down through a column. So what they would do, if we take a look at this base here, a piece of iron would have been put inside and this would have gone into a similar size hole in the column. Then we have this groove here where molten lead would have been poured in and set the two pieces together, making it solid, sturdy enough to hold up this building. 